My name is Karen Cha, and in the year 2000, I founded International Bridges to Justice. IBJ is dedicated to ensuring that every man, every woman, every child throughout the world has effective defense counsel. Most countries, almost virtually every country in the world has passed new laws saying you have a right to a lawyer, you have a right not to be tortured. But unfortunately, in even many of these countries, people are arbitrarily detained and tortured on a daily basis. Lawyer and public defender Karen Cha first came face to face with torture in Cambodia in the mid 90s. She had come to help rebuild a legal system that was utterly decimated by the reign of terror of the Khmer Rouge. Cambodia is a place that's synonymous with a very torturous past, a place where there was absolutely no rule of law and where millions of people were killed with absolutely no presumption of innocence. Over a decade ago, 1994, when I first arrived in Cambodia, there were less than 10 attorneys in the country. At that time, there were laws on the books that said you have a right to a lawyer, you have a right not to be tortured. But practically everyone who came through that prison system, practically everyone I met in prison said, yes, I was tortured. With Cambodia's legal system in tatters, torture was still viewed as the quickest, cheapest way for police to extract a confession from the accused, guilty or not. Former police official Oak Van Dett regularly witnessed the use of torture. Our superiors demanded a confession from every suspect who was brought in. The only way we knew how to get it was to use force and torture the suspect until they confessed. To many throughout the world, it seemed a hopeless situation. But Karen Cha was convinced that Cambodia was ripe for change. From her experience as a public defender, Karen knew that people who have effective legal counsel are far less likely to be tortured. And so she set out to train as many public defenders as possible. Soon, she and her fellow defenders were conducting rights campaigns in prisons, writing manuals for judges and lawyers on how a legal system is supposed to work and helping to build some of Cambodia's first arraignment courts. What IBJ does is to create the architecture and infrastructure so that the letter of the law isn't just a piece of paper, but becomes a living, breathing reality in the everyday fabric of life. Today, Oak Van Dett is a trained public defender working with IBJ to create an entirely new way of doing things. IBJ plays a vital role in Cambodian society. It trains lawyers to represent clients, teaches police how to seek evidence, and also encourages Cambodians to demand that their rights be respected. Inspired by what it has been able to accomplish in Cambodia, IBJ is now training and supporting public defenders around the world. In China, a country striving to improve its legal system, IBJ has established permanent resource centers and trained thousands of defenders who are working to bring justice and human rights to China's 1.3 billion citizens. In China, we did one advisement of rights campaign, and we had 3,000 members of the Youth Communist League, Chinese Youth Communist League. We put up a poster that it went from 1,000 copies to 10,000 copies to 360,000 copies to over half a million, and we have had campaigns for the last few years in every single province in China. 
one of the most encouraging signs for IBJ has been how genuinely eager governments in Asia, Africa, and Latin America have been to work with IBJ to adopt the organization's blueprint for building more humane justice systems. Equally encouraging is the growing number of public defenders and law firms joining IBJ's ranks. And we see that really for the worldwide community right now. It's going to be everyone who stands up to do this. It's going to be government officials who have been very welcoming. It's going to be corporations that lend their support. It's going to be businesses that realize that there has to be institutionalized rule of law in terms of hopes for globalization. It's almost like seeing all the rocks when you're here at Angkor Wat. And each one you know, has a member and a place in the architecture of it. And each one will, will form a very, very important role for the base. Human rights in this day and age isn't about the extraordinary. It's not about the impossible. It's about building the simple building blocks and being committed to just doing the everyday grunge work of putting the system in place so that we can really create a culture where the rule of law is in the fabric of society.